gonna hit you up like, hey, this your daddy. Bitch, who? Who? Who you is? That's your daddy. Yo, what's up? This your girl came and written now. Back with another video. How you guys doing today? Welcome to the life. Yeah, welcome to the life as Camry YouTube channel. Today I got me some um American Daily guys. Now I haven't had American Daily in God knows how long. But they can sure make some good fries, can't they? I mean they got I got a big old container of fries. A big old container. Thank God I got the ketchup. And everything else, y'all. Got the little seasoning salt to go with it. But yeah, guys. Um, how you guys doing today? Y'all doing good? What today is? Monday? Marvin to be Tuesday. I got some new outfit try-ons. New outfit try-on videos coming soon. I just recently did one. But um I need to get some more outfits. So I can do some more um outfit try on videos. Mm-hmm. Look at that, y'all. I don't know if y'all can see it, but and I got a big old for China fries. Y'all know I love my fries. And that's some period. So, you guys, I got my poem coming out. I got, like, probably, like, two more pages to go. Because it's going to be, it's going to probably be, like, six pages because it's a short poem book. But that shit going to be really good. It's going to be really good. And I have my perfume line coming out. I'm so excited about that. Because I've been wanting to do... I've been wanting to do my own perfume line for a while now. So... Y'all stay tuned for the palm book that's coming out. In a couple weeks. And y'all also stay tuned for my perfume... That's going to be coming out soon. And I just launched my own shoes. It's called K Marie's. So anybody want to purchase them? Let me know. I'll be putting my Instagram link at the bottom of this video. So anybody want to hit me up and interested in buying my shoes? Just let me know. But today, my head was hurt so bad this morning. I woke up five some this morning with a headache. Then, I had took three pills. Went back to sleep, woke up again around 8 o'clock. My head still hurting. Then, I told myself, you know what? Let me take another three pills. So, I took a three more extra pills. Went to sleep for like two and a half extra hours and I woke back up. And I feel a little bit better than I was feeling this morning. Ooh, look, look out. I even got my Lay's chips. Comment down below who, like, comment down below of what you guys' favorite chips is. Because I know what my favorite chips is. Mine's Lay's. And um, my favorite chips is Dale Lay's pickle chip. Honey barbecue lays and um Doritos. Mm-hmm. But my birthday coming up in September. Mm-hmm. I'm being in Orlando for my birthday. Mm-hmm. Because Orlando, cause I'm in Atlanta, so Orlando ain't nothing but like six and a half hours for me. Mm-hmm. 
Orlando, Florida, not that far. It's like six and a half hours. But my hometown that I'm from is like ten and a half hours for where I'm at right now. And that's too much driving. It's way too much driving. But if I was to go to Orlando, Florida, I wouldn't be no more than six hours. I won't be more than six hours. So. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I had paid my rent already. I paid my rent early because I got stuff I got to do. And plus, I'm saving up to Mm-hmm. Saving up big time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Y'all comment down below if y'all what's your favorite meal. I know y'all gonna be coming like Cameron Reed always snapping. Listen, when the food be good, the food be good. You can't deny that. They say we supposed to be getting some rain today. It be raining for the last four days. The sun is out right now though. Lucky in the room laying down sleep. I know some of you guys are like, we're lucky. Why is she ain't in the video? She sleep now. I'm going to take her outside again later on because she went outside three times already. Ate her dog food. Drunk. Three, three, three. She, she ate her dog food. After she went outside three or four times today, she ate her dog food. Ate her little treats. She drunk like Three cups, three bowls of water. So she full right now. So, but y'all yeah, just be chilling at the house. I don't be doing shit. But. I just be vibing like, you know, when you get older, oh, when you get older, you start to realize like you can actually vibe by yourself. I mean, it's okay to meet new people, hang out with new people and stuff like that. I feel off of vibes. Like if I feel your vibe is good, I'm going to fuck with you regardless. If I feel your vibe, your vibe gonna be bad. Either we're gonna have drama problems, or I'm just gonna have to cut you off. You know what I'm saying? So I feed off of vibes. Like a, yo, you got a good vibe, I'ma fuck with you hard. Like, I'ma fuck with you heavy. But everybody that follow me always call call me their sister. Always call me their mama and stuff like that. I couldn't help how people feel. So when you got another grown person trying to check you because they child coming to you for an advice instead of going to them, and then you have to check that person right back. You have to argue right back because. One thing about me, I ain't finna sit there and let nobody talk to me any type of way. It's something I'm not gonna do. I don't care who you will. So I can't get a person can't get mad because if their child come to another person for an advice. Like, if you don't want your child coming 
um, if you don't want your child coming to me or other people for an advice, then you need to do what you got to do as a mother and build some type of bond and relationship with your child. And you won't have to worry about your child coming to somebody else and asking them for an advice about certain things. I'm just keeping that shit real. I'm just keeping it blunt. People want to say, you let that person cuz. You let that person do that. But clearly, you do the same thing too. So how you going to come at me sideways trying to and try to check me about what I'm letting happen? At the end of the day, just yes, a child shouldn't cuz. You been knew I cuz. You been knew I cuz a long time ago. So... That's something that you have to fix, not me. Would I let my child cuss? No, I wouldn't. But at the same time, that's not my child. If I had a kid, I wouldn't let my kid cuss either. Not in front of me anyway. But when you got your child tell you in your face... Mama, you already knew I cuss. You let me cuss all the time. Then the mama is capping because if you let your daughter cuss all the time, then you already know she cuss. It don't make any sense to try to um check me about, oh, you let her cuss. Bitch, you let her cuss too. She told you in her face that you let her cuss. So that's why I say... When people giving you drama and they giving you issues and problems, you gotta cut them motherfuckers. You gotta cut them motherfuckers loose. You gotta cut them. You gotta cut their ass loose, cause they ain't gonna do the but bring no 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 more than they gonna do. They gonna do the but bring drama, problems, more drama in your life. And life is short. Nobody ain't got time for that. Nobody ain't got time for that. You got kids eight, seven, eight years old be cussing. It's because they mothers and daddies let them do that. And they hang around older people that's way older than them. Them to cuss too. Listen, I was eight years old cussing. I cussed when I was eight. I cussed when I was ten. Cause I I used to be a whole I used to be around a whole bunch of grown people when I was a kid. Now, did I cuss in front of my mama and my aunties? No. But I, I cuss like at school in front of my friends, yeah. But at the end of the day, kids come to me for an advice. A person can't get mad about it. It's not my fault. People look up to me, even kids, even grown people, even way, way older people. Everybody look up to me. A lot of people that follow me on social media look up to me, and I can't help that. I can't stop that. So, people going to say, say how they feel. People going to feel how they want to feel. Everybody entitled to their own opinion. But like I say... You got to leave the drama and problems where it's at. Because nobody don't have time for the BS. Nobody have time for that stuff. That's why I cut half of the people off that I used to hang around with. Because they weren't doing up with brain problems and drama. Stress in my life. Nobody don't need that. So, for printing, drama and stress and all of that. You just got to cut motherfuckers. You, just, you can love people from the distance. Because then because I forgive you what you did to me or said to me, don't mean we got to still start back fucking with each other. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know how long this video is. It's probably over 10 minutes. I'm not for sure. But 
at the end of the day, life is too short. We have to love ourselves no matter what. Because people want to say well I ain't finna deal with my daddy and all that because he wasn't never in my life. Just true. Because once a child sees that her daddy wasn't never in her life or his life they tend to hurt grudge with the daddy in the future because you got some daddies will come around when they know their daughter's been no made it you know came up and then they want to hit you up like hey it's your daddy bitch who 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 you is that's your daddy oh what was you when i had when i needed money what was you what I needed to make it. What would you when I need this? What would you when I needed that? No way. So how about you lose my number and don't never call me again? Because that's what they do. Soon as that scene that you don't blow it up and came up, they be hitting your phone be like, Hey, child, you remember me? And everything I'm saying in this video, y'all know I'm telling the truth. It's the truth. People feel like, He's my daddy because he my he my he my um biological daddy. He my birth daddy. Yeah, that's true. But just because a person birthed you, that doesn't make them a parent. They don't, don't, that doesn't make them a daddy or a mother. Handle your responsibilities and being there, that what makes you a daddy, father, mother. People want to say blood is sticking in water. I mean, um, people, you no know, people want to say family is sticking in water. Whatever they, whatever they should call. Mm mm, that's not always true. That's because you related. That's because you family. That don't mean shit. Relations don't make you family. Loyalty make you family. Loyalty and supporting that person, being there for a person, that's what make you family. And because you related to a motherfucker, that don't mean shit. That don't mean nothing. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Blood do not make you family. Loyalty make you got people out here that will treat you more like family than your real family. And that, that, that's that's truth. I'm speaking the truth. I'm speaking the facts right now. For real. You have people that you barely know will treat you like family. Mm-hmm. Blood. Don't make you family at all. Loyalty, being loyal, honest, being there, supporting. Hey guys, nobody get to end this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Comment down below y'all thoughts and opinions. Don't forget to turn on all post notifications so you guys can be notified every time I upload a motherfucking video. Say what? Say what? Ho, don't play with me. Hold up real quick so y'all can see me. Don't